and good day from the underground. Today I'm going to show you how to restore defaults on a CEM3 control processor, which can be handy, let's say, if you're in a touring situation and you need to just basically set it back to where your start address is 1, make sure that you have no special dimming curves or circuits set to uh, levels where you uh, don't want them to be or modes that you don't want. So what you're going to do is you're going to start off by pressing and holding the setup button here, and then you're going to tap reset. You're going to continue to hold setup for about 30 to 40 seconds, basically until your finger just wants to fall off. And I'm gonna do this in real time, so this is gonna be a little unpleasant. But then you're just gonna sit here, let it boot, and just give it a bit right now. It's gonna tell you your software version. You may need to note that in case you're doing any troubleshooting with a technician. I told you it's gonna take a little bit. Sure. And then once it's done, you can go ahead and release, and now here's what it's going to say, deep clear. This will clear the controller and rack of all con information. Continue. Here's your options. You can say no or yes to continue on. We're going to go ahead and restore. Go ahead and press enter. And again, this process is also going to take a little, bit, little while. I have some earlier hardware, so mine is actually going to take a little bit longer than what you might see out in the field, but allow for about 30 seconds to upwards of a minute. And once it's done, it will just come back up, reboot, and show you its normal screen. So I'm going to just kind of sit here and let it, let it spin away. And you can just hear things in the background as we're continuing to help everyone else here on the phones here at UTC. So one thing you may want to do is just grab a cup of coffee or something like that. Go ahead, get it to this point, and then just walk away. My question is, did you? And we're almost there on mine. Just a few more seconds. And there we go. It'll come back up. It'll start its reboot process. And then give it a few more seconds here. As everything starts coming back on, you'll see the whole boot process and LED status is coming on as it makes progress as it's going. And... Back to a point where you see system OK. We have normal defaults of DMXA is enabled, SACN generally is as well, B is off, and you should be good to go. Thank you for watching, and if you have anything else, please don't hesitate in contacting us at ETC.